Hello students, good morning to all of you. Today here I am going to teach you next character of living things, nutrition. We have already studied about cellular structure, movement, response to a stimuli. Okay. So today we will discuss about the next character. Next characters like nutrition respiration okay these are all characteristics of living things okay so today we will discuss about nutrition and respiration okay? so let's go for a study nutrition all living organisms need food for survival as we know that we all human beings or other organisms need food for survival. Food provides the nutrients. Why do we need food? Because food provides the nutrients required for producing energy for life activities. Our all activities, life activities depend on food. Why? Because food producing energy. Food provides the nutrients. Okay. Plants make their own food. Other organisms depend on plants directly or indirectly, indirectly for their food. Here you can see plants absorb nutrition from soil, zebra feeding on grass, monkey eats fruits and cat feeding on a mouse so all these animals all these living things need food so nutrition is the characteristics of living things okay next respiration respiration means we all human beings as well as plants respire all the time respire all the time means we take oxygen from the air All living things, including plants, respire to release energy required for the body activities. And similarly, we need nutrition. That means, without nutrition, we cannot do any activity. As same as respiration is also. Our requirements okay in respiration organisms take in oxygen from the air the oxygen is used to carry out oxidation of the food and release the energy trapped in it the waste product product is carbon dioxide animals and plants respire all the time the carbon dioxide released by animals is used by plants for photosynthesis. So, when we release the waste product, that means carbon dioxide, plants used for the photosynthesis. So, it is possible due to respiration. We take oxygen and plants used carbon dioxide for the photosynthesis. So this is possible only by the respiration. So this is also a characteristics of living things. Okay. Last day we have seen that we have seen that there are many 
organisms that have unicellular and multicellular some students are asking to me we do not understand the previous topic i want to say that please focus you focus on your study and see the given topic properly and read these stuff okay unicellular and multicellular there are two types of cellular that are found in different organisms movement second is movement in movement we have learned about location sorry locomotion and tropism okay so guys please you have to read the given topic sincerely i am sure that you will understand this by easily okay so please focus on your study okay thank you